It is the 27th of the 2nd, 2013, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off on SOT.net. Got another heads up on price increases for food. Horse hockey, contrived horse meat scandal and rising food prices. The price of food may rise in the wake of the horse meat scandal the boss of Tesco has suggested. Philip Clark, the chief executive of Britain's supermarket chain, admitted he could not promise that sweeping reforms to the company's supply chains would not leave customers paying more. <coughs> Excuse me. Any excuse? Global warning? Question mark. Truly a historic blizzard, Weather Service says. And there's all kinds of films out on this, of course. Philip Prince has been sitting in his tractor-trailer truck since Interstate 40 near Groom, Texas, for hours. Blah blah blah. I'm um, saying nine. He's been a long-haul driver for nine years. He's never seen anything like this. Uh, the good news that is it stopped snowing. The winds are still 55 miles an hour, but the skies are clear through the roads are not. And again, there are a lot of places throughout the Midwest that were um, double hit, boom, boom, with this great big storm. Uh, global warming, question mark. Kia, Hawaii snow expected to melt as winds pick up. Uh, the burst of winter weather on uh, the mountains of Hawaii over the weekend has apparently come to an end. Snowfalls are replaced by freezing rains and high winds on the Hawaiian Island summits Monday and temperatures are expected to rise above freezing today and Wednesday. So enjoy the pretty view while it lasts. Ice boulders form on the shores of Lake Michigan. There's a really crazy story here. Uh, Good Harbor, Michigan. She lived near the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore for nearly seven years but North Michigan woman says she's never seen anything like this. And they've got videos, of course, of these big ice boulders, about this big. Gigantic jet lightning spotted over China. A rare glimpse of gigantic jet. A huge, mysterious burst of lightning that connects a thunderstorm with the upper atmosphere was made over China in 2010 and was recently described by scientists. And they've got a pretty cool picture of this humongous lightning strike. Hailstorm causes widespread damage in uh, Mar del Plata, Argentina. And some severe weather going on south of the border for sure. Um, two killed as blizzard blasts southern plains, United States, and of course is the big storm we've all been talking about. Over to the extinction protocol quick. Peru's uh, volcano emits smoke plume after being shaken by hundreds of tremors. Got another big volcano gearing up in Peru. Uh, where's the other story here? Divers find Russian meteorite, meteorite craters in the lake uh, where they had that, everybody's seen the film, the big hole in the lake. Uh, divers searching the lake in Russia's Urals region have found several craters that may be impact zones of fragments of the now famous meteorite that exploded over the area on February 15th. So they think they found the actual pieces of the big meteor, the big pieces. And uh, again, they've got all kinds of uh, crazy stories, economy and uh, war and all that other stuff. Over to the nuclear stuff, uh, let's go to e, &E News. <clears throat> Fukushima photographer, we have seen how it's affecting children already, and no one knows exactly what's going on. We can only rely on nuclear experts in Germany, France, and the United States, and we all know how reliable these people are. Nuclear power is a crime against humanity. The horror is just beginning. Here's a canary in the coal mine. Japanese scientists. Truly unusual deformities in Fukushima. Force may be evolving into different ecosystems altogether. There's been a sudden large cha change, quote unquote. You gotta great bear this story with a grain of star salt. It starts off with uh, Fukushima was the second largest nuclear disaster in history. <laughs> which we all know is an absolute lie. Official, sharp tremors being detected near giant sinkhole, bubbles coming up from the center. And uh, yeah, they quit. They pulled all the workers out of there, and uh, there's a whole lot going on. There's a big settlement going on in the um, Bayou Corn sinkhole right now. Headline, rising doubts about Japan's official radiation figures. Large cities are still exposed to high levels of radiation from the Fukushima plant. And this... Um, these people are saying that the, the Japanese government actually um, decontaminated the areas where they set the detectors and makes the overall 
uh, numbers that they use for exposure way low than what they truly are. Um, the horror is just insane. Uh, AP, flurry of films on Fukushima disasters shows authorities pay, playing down health risks, not telling the whole truth. Uh, we have Ann Calder here telling us radiation is good for you. And we all know it's not. Bizarre, radiation incident as Fukushima plumes hit the U.S. in March 2011. Law enforcement divisions descended on home of a teenager with a Geiger counter. Apparently this teenager was part of the, the, the RAD network and... Uh, he was off and the thing went off, so they ended up calling the fire department because they thought they had a nuclear event right there at this kid's house because uh, everything was official. Ended up sending the SWAT team all the way up to the Air Force. Very interesting read indeed. Um, how deep is the cover-up? And we all know it goes all the way to the top. Emergency cleared at U.S. nuclear plant after gas leak. Event poses no threat to public safety. Top nuclear official of uh, victim home invasion. Burglars may have stolen secret info. A briefcase full of documents missing. This is an Israeli. Here, let me read some of this. This is an insane story and it sounds so stinky. Unknown assailants burglarized the home of the head of the Israeli Atomic Energy Commission and made off with a briefcase full of documents, a wallet, and a mobile device, police reported on Tuesday. The house belongs to Brigadier General Dr. Shav uh, Horev, head of the IAEC, and senior official in the Prime Minister's office. Uh, he's in the charge of the Israel's nuclear energy policy, one of the most sensitive jobs in the security establishment. And they're calling it a break-in, but then they turn around and call it a home invasion. But they're not saying that anyone's home during the time, which would label it a home invasion. So this story is full of holes and stinky cheese. I highly encourage you to look into it. Uh, something's definitely in a foot when the Israeli um, IAEC guy gets robbed. Hmm. They found the phone, but they didn't find his briefcase. Nobody touched his computer, huh? Worked by giant sinkhole suspended. Increase in underground fluid movement. Odor from hydrocarbons being released. It's a big stinky hole and it's growing down there. Uh, paper, nuclear meltdown at sea would have been far more devastating effect than on land. Thousands of cubic miles of ocean contaminated. Yeah, we've had three that we know about major nuclear reactors melt down and are seeping directly into the Pacific Ocean. Not to mention number four in its spent fuel pool. We don't hear anything about five or six or Fukushima Diani, the other nuclear power plant that was majorly devastated by the tsunami and quakes and stuff. Good luck finding any stories on that at all. So no telling what's really going on and how bad the Pacific Ocean um, is being destroyed and how quickly. Uh, <clears throat> and U.S. nuclear waste leak, quote, major emergency problem. Most dangerous substance known to science. A ticking time bomb. And, uh, Jesus, it just continues and continues and continues. Um, I'm going to pretty much leave it at that tonight. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.